It is Newcastle in their chain strip playing from right to left. Ogray, the tackle coming in from Lockwood. Oh, and the ball being left behind that time by Barbary. And here's the big fella, Brocklebank. Look at this. What an athlete. Brocklebank, can he keep going? He's done wonderfully well there for nice. Newcastle. Now, can they make it happen? McGuigan, can he get it down? Well, he's trying desperately hard. Well, what a run that was by Adam Brocklebank. Unbelievable pace to make it. Unbelievable. I think he gets to five metres out, and then I think it's McGuigan. And does he get that down? Looks to me like he might do. Yes. Tremendous break from Willis, and Willis has got Robson alongside him. And in a moment, Ross make it happen from the set piece. Jack Willis, who returned to England duty a couple of weeks ago, didn't get called up to the match day squad, but that is the sort of quality he delivers with that man on the occasion of his 150th appearance for Wasps. It really was simple, but it was executed to perfection. So that, that last one there, I thought you could have just presented it. Can Newcastle convert it this time? Get back, get back, get back. Some of the big lads are in from the back line. Luther Burrell there. Also Carreras, and this is working rather better. And McGuigan is there. And they've got the try. It's a second score for Newcastle. What an opening 34 minutes it's been for them. And there he is. McGuigan back on his feet. Two tries for, for Newcastle, both go to that man there. Number 11 for the season. Fekatoa keeps hold of it. And the drive through from Lodgebury. And it's the captain himself who gets there. And what a crucial score that might prove to be for Wasps. What a line by Joe Launchbury round the corner. Gap opens up straight through, one on one with the full back. I think I saw a sidestep, and over he goes. There's Schroeder. Welsh on here to Radwan. Oh, and he tried to sneak around the corner, and Porter got his hand to it. I think they're going to check something here. So, was the offload before it's gone into touch? Yeah, for me, offload before it's touch. OK, so, we, yeah, so we're going to check to see whether that was deliberately knocked into touch, Billy. So we're looking at yes. Will Porter so looking, here, here to see if this is deliberately knocked into touch. Well, it's going to be a penalty, and it looks like a yellow card. They have ruled out the possibility of a penalty try. It is a yellow card and a so penalty. Number 21. Yes. Looked a different one, so difficult one for Will Porter there. He's tried to stop the pass from heading in field, which looked like it could have led to a try, and in doing so, he slapped the ball into touch. The ball goes to Robinson. 15 against 14. For half of what remains, George McGuigan. He's heading in the right direction. McGuigan sees the try line, sees the hat trick, and Newcastle have another score and that man goes straight to the top of the try scoring table Newcastle in front again George McGuigan the hero similar to the one in the first half you could see it come in the back corner opened up and he pops out with the no ball problem, and there's no the cover there to take it so he's easy running to the line from a meter out Up against the post. Well, the foot of the post not so long ago would have been a try, not yeah, now. Yeah. Launchbury's there. They're all lining up. An absolutely crucial phase in the match. And Wasps have got it down. And it's Tom West who's got the try. And what a score it is. Might that be for Wasps? 
well gathered by Conan. There's always a chance that could bounce anywhere, but he committed to take it on the first bounce. Powerful rocking there from Wasps. And Penny got in and took it. But there is reward there for Wasps. They have the penalty. Well, he couldn't keep his feet, but he had no problem keeping his line. Jimmy Gotteth. It's there again. Driven on by Miller Mills. The arm is out from the referee. So he can't play advantage because he's ripped it forward, and that's full time. The referee blows his whistle for the end of the match. So a crucial victory for Wasps. Final score in Coventry. Wasps have prevailed by 27 points to 24.